hey guys welcome back so guys now in this video we are continuing our add to cart uh, video so guys till now we have completed in previous video about how to add to cart using cookie in a cookie and now after successfully adding the data into your cookie now we will uh, display the what we have added into the cookie okay so guys, now let's uh, let me click on this add to cart so we will see the output what it is now this is already added into cart so i just want to view the uh, added cart from your cookie right so guys now as we were continuing in our uh, blog thing so we will just continue with the same part so down below i have explained how to get that okay so this is about counting all the products that is added into the cookie and yes showing all the products which we have added into the cart cookie okay so first step uh, let's make a url for this so let's create one route let's copy this Control c and go to our code over here and let's go to a web.php and now let's add a route done so we have added added the cart function at the cart controller which we made in previous video at index function so let's go to the cart and above we have left some spaces for adding it let's type function of index and we will leave it blank for this index function and let's type the code for it so as you can see we have created the shopping cart one so that same thing we will copy and paste so use the cookie at the top we have already used it at the top right and now the index function data so let's copy this and paste it over here done so now you can see that cookie whatever we are using shopping cart we have already used to add the cookie right i mean add the product into this cookie cart shopping cart variable of cookie now done so let's uh, pass this by decoding it and into the cart and then variable that cart data will be using in front end so that we can view the output so before uh, viewing this we will check a simple output by returning directly into the page instead of viewing in the page we will first return directly and check return card data let's save this and get to our host and let's type cart url which we have made it now so you can see item id 2 and the name is this item is the one and price is null over there and this is the image extension why price null because we have given some wrong field right so let's fix that also in this video what is about that it's over here let's go down and here is the price well price well variable price so instead of price what what is that in our database in the products table so let me click on products so we will view the output still loading okay so let's see the price it's known as offer price o f f e r price now let's tell offer underscore price let's save this done so next time it doesn't happen with that any mistake and now let's minimize this and let's get back and add another product of instead of redmi 8 let's add this product view detail and click to add so let's add this it's added i think because we are not returning any message so it's showing us like that so we have added successfully and if you want to see you can see that it's showing over here correct format so preview it's added let me load that in next tab cart 
let's reload the function i'm um, page so you can see that 2500 everything is perfectly coming now right so guys the data has been retrieved perfectly now we want to display in one page done so i have already made the design and kept over here itself so let's make the file called inside the cart folder so let us get back and to the code and let's follow up the structure for it so inside resource folder views inside views front end inside front end let's make a folder called cart c a r t cart inside that cart we will create a blade file index dot blade dot php hit enter that's it so our page is created so now let's extend all the things so as you know we have using this thing so let's extend it let's copy control c and paste and then content wise you can start with your blog itself okay so as you can see content here is the content so let's copy this and see what happens now so everything is designed over here i have just kept it so let's copy and i will show you explain you step by step let's go to our page and here you have to tell cart paste it done save this so let's save it and reload the page so you have make sure you are adding that in your index we have not returned anything let's comment this and uncomment this code said cart folder you are going to call the index page file so this will be called your this cart blade file okay save this and let's reload the page this is our cart file hit enter let's see what happens if it is giving error or what okay so this is a simple design uh, which we have to make it in a correct format design format so now guys um we have to change all the design and call the image path through it so we saw that two data were there in that redmi note 8 7 pro so we have completed with it so please design all these things as per your requirement but uh, let's uh, add these things like to test the card functionality so let me go back and let's let me add one more for a demo purpose so let's add this redmi k20 so let me view in detail so let's view it and i'm going to click on add to cart so let's hit on add to cart it's added successfully you can see over here if you want to return a message uh, i have given the link into the description okay how to return a message after it so let's reload this and see the third output k20 cool so you can view the output right so if you want to check the path also of the image over here what you want to view is that you need to call this same path so let us call this path inspect so you can see upload products so you can call the same path in your blade i mean card page as per your requirement so let us call that uploads forward slash products and your item image done so let us reload it once again and see cool so you can see that right everything is coming perfect and the pricing also is coming what is the price and uh, as per the quantity also right so now guys i will show you how it is working so if you want to increase the quantity let's increase this quantity to three and let me add to cart i have added it now let's reload this page and see that the cart 
see here so k20 defaultly it is coming as three quantity it's a loading and the multiplied by three value right and this is the delete option to delete the record i mean cookie or remove the thing this is the clear for so we will be learning in step by step in next videos so guys now let's get back to our blade file and see how it is working so first let me minimize everything as simple so guys we are returning a value called card data so this is the card data value which we are uh, array value which we are getting over here and checking with the is set function so if it is set if it is data is there it will go inside this if it is not the date any data then it will show you your cart is empty right and continue shopping by your custom url link right if the data is there then you have to check with the cookie so if cookie getting the cart and after that i have set this total as zero for one purpose i will just explain you in this video in this only we will continue so let's this is our table which we are working on this so this is the table and now for this table we will open that and simple this is the head tag to view the details of product name price quantity and grand total of it and remove thing done so now let us check with the for loop so first step so you are getting the same card data whatever you are passing from your controller so this is the variable which you pass to that that controller that variable i am passing over here and as data we are viewing and in that table row we have explained very clearly taking that data by array of tag name input column names whatever the names you have given so item name price as per your uh, inserted cookie so in previous video we have learned about how to insert that cookie thing so as you can see that item id name quantity price and image right so same thing we have to view by its name simple as you can see that item price and item quantity and then this is the uh, where we are calculating that that quantity your quantity and your item price into we are doing and showing the grand total so this is the column where we are viewing it grand total right so this is the price column and there's a quantity and this is your grand total by number format we are viewing it so number format helps with the dot dot extension one if you require this dot dot you can add that two or else remove and make it to zero if you want if you don't want to show anything like dot and point 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 double zero so let me reload the page so you can view the output of only exact price cool so hope you are understanding very clearly so it's now and then i have kept the simple delete button for it so you can use that delete card data so we'll be learning about this in uh, further videos about how to delete that data and let me design it to a very small dg badge fun pill so let's reload this once again and see that simple small design for delete button okay let's make it to b a d g e hyphen primary save it okay instead of uh, blue we have to make it danger so let's make it danger that's it so once this is done and then now coming below to show its subtotal and grand total things that this calculated all the values all the grand total values or the all the input of it we are viewing it so for that we have done see first we are calculating these two values that is quantity and your item price so after the for each loop so see the for each loop starts and the for each loop ends over here 
we are creating a variable called total so this total variable should be defined is equal to zero as you can see in the beginning we have defined that total is equal to zero so this total equal to zero will calculate zero and then add this quantity into price all the details of this all the loop how many times looping you are storing in that total variable where is equal to total you are getting that so after that getting that total value we will view in a separate uh, design below format so let me open that this is for continuous shopping cart so let's ignore this part this part is for this button continue shopping okay so now and this is the subtotal and your grand total so guys now very simple here we are now subtotal and your grand total what is it about so subtotal comes over here the total value which you are getting it and then the same meaning for grand total also so grand total is kept for like if you are providing any discount option or anything else like you are providing a coupon code or something else so that time this grand total comes or else you can keep the simple way so about integrating coupon and all you'll be learning about in further videos so guys now let's complete this and yeah guys then we are done with this so once when you click to check out proceed to check out you have to check that user is logged in or not if it is not logged in you have to click to login okay so it will ask you to log in before login please before after before checking out please log in so you simple thing i have used if else statement where authenticated user means check out if he is not an authenticated user please log in and then check out with it so now in next video we'll be learning about how to check out and how to register with this and then check out so already we have learned about registration and other things so guys in this video we are completed about how to viewing that cart cookie details in the cart page so thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share and in next video we'll be learning about how to uh, display the messages after adding the cart okay so when i click art cart add to cart then you have to get a message so we will be uh, using bootstrap notifier alertify so thank you once again guys please subscribe like and share